Now, everyone who know me know how much I love Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was it. He was the main everything for us. You know, like, it's Kobe. So, when you hear, you know, uh, when you hear about Kobe Bryant, you know, like, his legacy and what he meant to the game of basketball, what he meant to just period. You know, this this knows no ends in battle. So I don't make things up when it comes to the discussion uh, or to the table of dealing with Kobe Bryant or things of that nature. You know, uh, it's, it's difficult, to say the least, to, to even talk about Kobe Bryant. You know, uh, you know, it's just, Crazy, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Nike, for years, uh, has made their made it their uh, you know business of having the greatest athletes in the world. You know. Uh, I don't like to talk about it too much, but I did it on the Patreon, you know, Nike, Nike has done a lot of different things as far as, you know, uh, making things known or You know, I, I don't know. I just feel... I just feel... Like, I've covered this already, but for those who are not on the Patreon, we won't go deep into it, but we won't go deep into it, but what we will do is go over the surface of it, you know, and on the surface, Kobe Bryant and Vanessa Bryant are not going to the estate, rather, are not going to renew with Nike. Kobe Bryant was already planning on leaving Nike, and I told people this uh, on the Patreon, as I showed you guys his shoe that he was designing, and he was going to go with a new company, his own brand, and start anew when his contract expired, which just expired on the 13th. Um, she hopes that Kobe can, you know, his fans can find the shoes that, that, you know, all the merchandise of Kobe Bryant, but the lack of, you know, availability of the product is what really brought this to a head for Kobe. Um, he was always very frustrated with Nike because they made some beautiful basketball shoes. The fans loved it. And it seems more fitting that, you know, more NBA players are wearing his products more than any other signature shoe. They love wearing Kobe stuff to honor him. 
Now, Brian and State had grown frustrated with Nike. Basically, they were limiting the availability of Kobe products during his retirement and after, you know, his death of 2020. You know, and there was also frustration with the lack of availability of this uh, footwear for kids and sizes and all different type of things, you know. And with Kobe working with uh, teenage girls, you know, in basketball, helping them out and coaching them, these young girls uh, on the court, you know, as far as, you know, being a face, big as he was in the NBA, to be a face and a driving force for, you know, women's basketball, he was doing tremendous. Of the sport. You know, and Nike had presented what they wanted to be an extension offer that was not in line with the expectation of an ongoing lifetime contract structure that was similar to the ones that LeBron got and Jordan got. Now, Kobe did not like this and was going to leave. And Vanessa even said that I was hoping to forge a lifelong partnership with Nike that reflects my husband's legacy. We will always do everything we can to honor Kobe and Gigi's legacies. That will never change. So all Kobe stuff at Nike is going to be halted now. The Kobe Bryan estate could enter into negotiations with other brands to form a new partnership, which will happen. So, Kobe Bryan estate owns the right to both the Mamba logo and his signature. So, the Seth logo, or the Seath logo, that often appears on the tongue of the Nike Kobe sneaker is mutually owned by both sides. Now, Kobe Bryant has an important part of Nike's deep connections to the consumers. So he pushed and made everyone around him better. So their, con you know, their uh, contractual relationship ended, but they loved Kobe as a deep member of the family, a Nike representative said, of course, because what are they supposed to say? You're not going to say anything negative about you know, LeBron James, because you better not. I mean, not LeBron, but Kobe Bryant. You know, it would just be the wrong thing to do. Now, when people start to go down different roads or that take them to different avenues, man. You know, I don't like to talk about Kobe a lot because it bothers me what happened. You know, but you can go to the Carcino to Life uh, Patreon and if you are a Patreon member and you did not see it, all you have to do is go to the Patreon, right? Go to the page section, type in Kobe in the search, and you can go to anything you were searching to look for. Now, throughout the years, the Kobe's one, four, five, and six, uh, they were you know, uh, they were like re-released. I believe the, the four or five, it was the one, four, five, and six. They were all re-released through that Proto Lens thing, uh, that speaker, you know, sneaker league and all that stuff. 
So people are trying to go, you know, snatching them up before people stop selling them because it's going to go crazy online. Everybody right now is trying to get a pair of coats because they know what's going to happen. Like, this is it. You're not going to see another pair of Kobe's again, like for Nike, unless down the road something happens, they make another deal, but they're not going to remake the shoe. They're going to halt all production of anything Kobe. There wasn't a lot out there anyway. Now, Nike would tell you that the shoes weren't selling as well. And Kobe was saying because it wasn't marketed and promoted as well. Because in the last few years, Kobe Bryant was injured. And while he was injured, he was basically put on an island. Meaning that while he was out there being a retired player, they just felt like well, there's no real interest in what, what Kobe Bryant is doing anymore. Now we're pushing everything towards, you know, LeBron James. LeBron James is the future. We need to just keep pushing more and more things to LeBron. So. Kobe was being ostracized. It was thank you for the years you put in, but now we're moving away from Kobe because he was doing things that were more outside of basketball. With the uh, directing, acting, just just it just shows you the the nature of business and crude business. They didn't realize Kobe's innate value. He's more valuable than any player or team that you have. He's universal. He's bilingual. So he's international. He can go anywhere and do basically anything. So, Vanessa, the family, the estate, they're doing the best they can to weather the storm. I think they're now in a position where, you know, they have an idea of the direction that they're going. So, they want to, you know, fulfill Kobe's wishes. You know, Kobe's wishes was to have his own brand. And I think he was ready to part with Nike. I think Nike knew that Kobe was part, wasn't going to resign with them. And when they tried to go back and talk with the brand again with Vanessa, I just don't think it was an option. Nike didn't really want to do a lifetime contract with Kobe. It was thank you for the business and we move forward. So I'm. Move, I'm all about moving forward without Nike. I would rather have a pair of those other shoes that I saw that was the demos that you see on the Patreon. You know, so I'm all for that. Now, everything else, I'm quite sure they can figure that out on their own, but other than that, you know, I think I'm where I need to be. So. That being said, it's your boy Carcino here, telling everybody out there, God bless you, and good night. Don't forget to hit the like button too, that's free. <laughs> Subscribe to the page too, that's another one.